Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make a stem and leaf plot. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way for us to organize and display data. So we take the data, just a list of numbers, and we organize everything in a table called a stem and leaf plot. So this is a way for us to present the data. Let's jump into our example and see exactly how to do this. We have the ages of employees at a business. The first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest if it's not already done so. This data is not in order, so we will start there. Ordering the data will make everything much simpler once we get to creating the stem and leaf plot. Let's start with the youngest age of 24. So 24, then we have 25, then 33, 36, 39, 42, then 47, let's go and make another row here. So 47, then we have 48 and 48. We have two 48s. Then we have 49, 50, 56, and then 62. Now that everything is in order, we need to create the stem and leaf plot. So we're going to make the stem column and leaf column. Let's start with a vertical line and then a horizontal line here and the stem column is on the left and then the leaf column is on the right. Taking a look at the data, we have two digit numbers for this example, and they range from 24 to 62. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value, so each age for this example, into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take 24 years old. We're going to split that value into a stem and a leaf. Stem on the left, leaf on the right. Our stems will be the tens digits, and we will go from two to six, twenties to sixties. So again, we are splitting the values, the ages. Let's list our stems, and we need to go in order here. So two, three, four, five, six. So the twenties, the thirties, the forties, the fifties, and the sixties. So again, those stems represent the tens digits. We went from the lowest tens digit of two all the way to the highest tens digit of six and included everything in between. Now we need to list our leaves and we will start with 24 and go in order. So for 24, we have a stem of two and then a leaf of four. Next, we have 25. So a stem of two and a leaf of five. Next, 33. So we move down to the stem of three. 33, stem of three and leaf of three. 36, stem of three, leaf of six. Next, we have 39. So we need a leaf of nine. Now we have 42. So move down to the stem of four. So stem of four, leaf of two. 47, we need a leaf of seven. Then we have 48, so a leaf of eight. Another 48, so another leaf of eight. Then we have 49, so a leaf of nine. Now we have 50, so we need to move down to the stem of five. Stem of five, leaf of zero. 56, so stem of five leaf of six. And then lastly, we have 62. So stem of six, leaf of two. And that's it for our leaves. So now what we can do is make a key. 
That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent. And all we need to do for this is take an example from the table and put what it equals. So we can put key down here below the table. So key, and let's just use 47. So a stem of four, and let's split this with a leaf of seven equals 47. And we can even label this years since we are working with ages. So that shows, again, that a stem of four and a leaf of seven equals 47. And then lastly, to wrap this up, I'm going to put a title up top. So ages of employees. And this is years. So there you have it. There's how to make a stem and leaf plot. And for this example, we worked with two digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.